Cesar Cordova, and this is my final presentation for Colton Alexander, named Potential ESG Investment Allocation. The agenda goes over four phases that I will be going over the next following slides. Now, the executive summary. The problem statement in this case is the global warming that has been getting worse over the years, and thus there has been an increase in the emission of carbon dioxide and other factors that are deteriorating the environment. Now, what Colton Alexander is doing is identifying creative and sustainably minded entrepreneurs with investors that want to change and shape the world for good, which is amazing. Now, um, these are going to be the two companies I will be going over in the following slides because are, they are my suggestions for Colton Alexander to allocate their investments, Skyboller and Andes. First off, sustainably, the sustainability industry has been gaining popularity over the years since 1993 up until 2020, and analysts predict that it's going to be a graph that will be going upward over and over the years. Now, uh, the recent trends indicate that companies are becoming more sustainable focused. As the graph states, entrepreneurs are allocating more investments in companies that care for the environment. And the drivers for this matter are the obvious deterioration of the environment and the growing of awareness of investors, entrepreneurs, and consumers in general. These are companies that are allocating their efforts in this industry, taking a proactive and reactive approach. And the first company I'll be talking about is Skydweller. Um, that is a it's taking a business, it has a business model that revolves around developing and deploying solar power out autonomous aircraft. Now their main goal is to achieve a an aircraft or a plane that will be able to do a perpetual flight without relying on making a stop around the world. And uh, they don't want to rely on fossil fuels for these uh, aircraft. And uh, how are they solving this problem is the question. They are implementing advanced solar technology to harness energy from the sun, which is amazing, utilizing this solar energy to power the aircraft propulsion and systems as well. So far, they have raised up until $40 million, and uh, they are currently in Series A at the moment. They are located in Oklahoma City, the United States of America. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> Skydweller is led by plenty of professionals in this industry. Robert Miller has been working in this industry for 20 years, so he knows what he's doing, and he has an amazing team with him as well that has good, good amount of experience. The estimated annual revenue for this company is $8.3 million, and their future business plans include uh, they are aiming to expand its global market, uh, presence and advance the uh, capabilities of solar-powered autonomous aircraft, focus, focusing on applications in telecommunications, and other factors as well. And this is a second company I'm going to be talking about. And uh, they operate on a climate tech business model, leveraging integrated microbial technology to accelerate crop growth while currently removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through a symbiotic relationship of beneficial microorganisms with plant roots. Now, um, I know this sounds complicated, but the problem they're trying to solve is uh, they're trying to address the climate change by using beneficial mi microorganisms, pretty much. Um, how are they trying to solve this? By deploying beneficial microorganisms in agricultural soil, accelerating the conversion of carbon dioxide into minerals, and there is plenty of other steps as well. Now, so far, they have raised $56.1 million at the moment, and they are currently in Series 8, and they are located in uh, Alameda, California, which is really close to where I live. Now, furthermore, this company is led by Gonzalo Fuensalina, which is from Chile, which is right next to my country, Peru. And this was one of the main factors that I honestly felt like I was um, in the contact with this company in relation with, because he's done plenty of good presentations in Spanish and I was able to gather lots of good information from him. He's a professional that has been in the industry pretty much since he was a little kid. The total amount of money raised once again, has been $56.1 million, and the estimated annual revenue is $12.2 million. This company is growing exponentially, and its future business plans include they are seeking to expand globally, partnering with farmers to deploy its technology on 25 million acres and achieve an amazing scale of carbon removal within a decade as well. 
Finally, in conclusion, Colton Alexander should consider these two companies to allocate their investments because they have proven to have an impact. They have a holistic approach. They have a transparent methodology. Uh, but overall, they belong to a growing market and have an experienced team, which is what matters the most. Thank you very much. If there is any further questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks again.